What's up Raiders, Bionic here. Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today I want to share with you what I've been able to figure out about Achok the Windarn. I've seen other build videos so far, but I have tested him in the Doom Tower as well. In the arena, I geared him probably a little bit differently because how hard the hard Doom Tower is. So the stat requirements are very, very high. So you'll see why in a second. First though, let's go over his kit because it is fantastic. This is a game changer, but he's a little bit tricky to use. I feel like he needs other champions in your team to make him shine even more so the passive is either hp burn where you heal or a freeze where you get turn meter increase on all allies this is huge really really good for the Frostfire Gale skill, this is where you get either Freeze or either HP Burn, depending on which stat is higher on the enemy, attack or defense. Keep in mind, though, that if you apply a decreased attack or a decreased defense, or if the enemy has increased attack, this will impact this skill, which is why it's so tricky to use, especially against the Frost Spider on the Hard Doom Tower. Then we have this skill right here, which is a block debuffs and then a straighten. The problem, though, is that it's not in this order, and I hate that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to call it out again. Plyrum, why did you write it in this order if it's not in this order? So this is a little bit problematic when you have Torment because he's going to do this one first and then you might get frozen and then you might get the block debuffs. So again, really, really annoying. I hope they can fix this in the future. Then we have the A1, which works again, whether or not the enemy has an HP burn or a freeze debuff. In one case, you're going to decrease the duration of one random buff, which is good, but you're also having the ability to decrease the turn meter by 15% if they have a freeze debuff instead. Problem is, you never freeze a boss, so you can't exactly count on the freeze aspect of this skill to actually work for you, okay? So um, here are the masteries that I've used so far. Again, uh, just bear in mind that I've been trying to hit some really, really high stats for my resistance and accuracy on this champion for the hard Doom Tower, and I'll show you guys why. And then finally, for the artifacts, we went with two pieces of, per of perception, sorry, and then two pieces of speed. So we have a lot of resistance and we have a lot of accuracy see unfortunately for the frost spider we are a little bit too low we should be around 600 accuracy for this to work correctly so as you can imagine for me to keep these speed this uh defense and whatnot it is going to be uh a very hard thing to do on any account but like i would have to get legendary gear across the board, perfect substat rolls on all this gear. You can kind of see what I went for with speed, resistance, and accuracy. We have kind of the same thing here, speed, resistance, accuracy. For the shield, we have some speed and accuracy. Same thing on the gloves, speed, accuracy, resistance. Again, so it's really, really hard to get these stats. For the chest piece, we have accuracy. And then for the boots, six star speed, of course, with some resistance, but no accuracy. So you can kind of see here that I'm missing a little bit. We went with a resistance banner. And then we do have uh, two rolls of accuracy and, and one on the resistance uh, for the amulet. Again, this is not legendary. So there is room for improvement eventually i think he will be absolutely amazing for the hard doom tower as well but it's just i cannot reach the stats that i need for the time being so let's jump first in a run of the spider dungeon because as you can imagine uh hp burn right so you think right away fantastic for the spider dungeon which it is but again i feel it's a lot easier to work with ultimate gaelic and then you're going to get the frost aspect of him because the spiderlings and the boss they have more attack than they do defense and even if you bring like an attack down champion chances are you're also bringing a defense down champion in this case it's stagnite so we're going to do two things we're going to test this guy with stagnite and then we're going to bring just an attack down champion only to see if we can get the hp burn to proc we're also weak affinity here so this guy is our tank he is currently the fastest uh, we do de debuff right there. Okay, so I'm going to slow this down. We have our trusty Armager to control the turn meter. And then we go for AoE HP burn, right? So now our Achak the Windarn is going to take another turn pretty soon. But you can see he's already healing. We have the block debuff, so we're not getting the poisons. But I have such high resistance on this guy that I would still not get the poisons from the Spiderlings, which is huge if you want him to be your tank, right? So he's basically in a sense, invincible, because he's healing from his passive. We have a heal also from Valerie, just in case. Uh, but then if we want the uh, turn meter increase, we have to apply the AoE freeze, which you saw he went for there, but we got very little AoE freeze on these champions or the spiderlings um, because we're weak affinity number one. 
right? So, like I said, it is good, but I feel like if you want him for Spider-20, uh, Ultimate Gaelic or, like, Tyrant Eliximore is still probably sort of like a go-to. Okay, we got a lot of freezes right there, so pay attention to our turn meter increase. Boom. So, what this means is that you can afford to have, literally here, I have only one Armager for turn meter control, and I have Ultimate Gaelic for a little bit more turn meter control, and then we have the passive working for us, therefore, we're able to almost outspeed the spider uh queen with these three champions alone so no cold heart uh no allure although she's not the best here we don't need two armigers and uh, we don't have two cold hearts so again uh if this works as intended the spider queen might never take a turn and we can effectively kind of kill her with just the overall hp burn right so pretty amazing i think for that alone he deserves to be on a team like this or for like a starter account if you have an hp burn champion on top of this he is fantastic if you plan on using him for hp burn only in here will not work i don't think that is what he's meant to do uh, but the passive or the frostfire gale skill does lead you to believe that that is what you would want to do with this champion unfortunately not quite what we want here so let's keep going let's see if we can finish this off without ever the spider queen taking a turn see right there we do say, take some damage it's not the end of the world we're about to go for some turn meter control with armiger hopefully hp burn with turn meter control from ultimate gaelic because he also has that on his a3 which is huge so again it does come into play right here decrease defense and attack right there we're getting some heals from our passive a little bit more turn meter control from our ultimate gaelic guys ultimate gaelic here as well is really really solid this was a gimme by plarium not too long well a while ago but for, from the amazon prime program really happy they gave us this champion because I used him for a very long time in here, right? But now with H Octo and Darren, this combo is absolutely amazing. All right, so there we go. We got a couple more freezes and done. Okay, so the Spider Queen never took a turn. It is much slower, but there's no cold heart in here. And I think that's the really important point. Now let's move on to something else, which is simply a quick test to see if we only apply a decreased attack if the HP burn would be applied instead on the spider links, right? So let's uh, do this manually here to make sure we do the right things. So here we're going to buff up with increased attack, which is really important for our ultimate Gaelic if we want to lead with the AoE HP burn. And then we're going to uh, apply this right there. Boom. All right. So right now, a couple of them have HP burn. Now, what we want to do is to apply a decreased attack on all these champions. So for that, I am using a Padma. We see decreased attack across the board. Now we're going to take a little bit of the damage here. We are once again resisting the poisons, which is huge, but we are healing. Now, let's see if with this, we still go for an attempt to place a frost. Yep frost across the board so even with the decreased attack it still means their attack is higher than their defense okay so i think that's a little bit unfortunate he would have been absolutely amazing here as a dedicated hp burn champion which means you would not have needed ultimate gaelic and you would uh instead not even need your decreased defense right you would just bring in like two armigers to guarantee you control the turn meter you would apply decreased attack across the board with a different champion in this case padma and then you could literally just kill the boss with the hp burn would have been fun. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that is going to work for us. Maybe you guys have figured something out um, that actually works for him to go for HP burn. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, now I quickly want to show you guys in the Doom Tower what I've been able to do with this guy. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with our notorious hard floor 112. I'm not going to show you guys the entire run, but I do want to bring something to your attention here. I've been able to complete this on auto with my fastest team. Uh, which is with Achok the Wind Darn. Obviously here what I'm banking on is the combo of Achok and Torment the Cold, okay? So for this to work correctly, what you want from Achok is the HP burn. And then what you want from Torment is your freeze from his passive or from the A1, okay? Uh, but again, here it is not easy to do because I also have a champion like Lydia, which brings decreased defense so as soon as you apply the decreased defense as you'll see in a second it is going to modify how his frostfire gale skill works right we know it um so again it is not perfect so let's just go with the usual sort of combo that we get here so by default this is another thing i want to point out uh if there is no strength and buff up which lydia does have he's going to open with this if you instead make your lydia faster 
He's not going to go for Cannibal Might. He's going to go straight into Frostfire Gale. We can probably check that shortly after. So we're going to do his usual skill, which he does on auto. Then we're going to go for AoE, Decrease Defense, and Weaken. Here, unfortunately, now I don't have enough buffs on my own team to one-shot this wave, which is all right. We'll work with that for a second here. We'll rebuff up. We got... Uh, and then we'll try and apply some freezes. We don't get them. And now I want to apply this uh, skill, Frostfire Gale. We're going to see if it's going to be Freeze or HP Burn on these champions. They all have decreased defense right now, okay? And we get Freeze again. See what I mean? So that is the issue with applying your AoE decreased defense. So let's try that again, but instead not apply the AoE decreased defense from our uh, Lydia to see what we get instead. Okay, so let's go for AoE Provoke here, kind of the same thing. We just want to control them for the time being. And uh, let's go straight into this. And then we get HP Burn almost everywhere, except for our Gurgo the Augur, which I assume uh, then that means that his uh, stats are a little bit different, right? So the second you apply the AoE Decrease Defense, though, this changes your skill. So on a rotation like this, it makes it hard to use. And unfortunately, even though it worked for me on auto, it's like 1 in 10 that probably works. And they're not always close to 7 minutes. It really just depends on the next wave, which has like 3 torments. So again, kind of interesting, but uh, sadly not perfect in my opinion, or just maybe a little bit too hard. And then here's sort of like my final boss on the normal Doom Tower with uh, the Frost Spider. We kind of use the combo of Ultimate Gaelic and Achok the Windarn, because the problem in there is that same thing is happening. The Frost Spider uh, is unfortunately buffing up with increased attack. Therefore, her attack is much higher than her defense, even if by default her skills are equal. So you would think the HP burn would be applied, but if you don't control the Spiderlings, you get increased attack on the boss. Therefore, Achok is trying to freeze the Frost Spider, which can't be done. So again, very annoying. So the only way I found it to make it work for the time being is to use Ultimate Gaelic, which also applies HP burn on the Spiderlings, the boss herself, right? So a good combo, but by himself, I find he's a little bit harder to use. All right, now all that being said, let's go in the arena and see what he can do in there. Let's just try to pick a team. Hopefully nothing that's too hard. And then let's just bring in... Uh, so this is all support in a sense, right? So we're, we're probably maybe not going to kill these champions. But I just want to see the synergy of what happens uh, when we put this on auto, right? So we buff up. Then we're going to have AoE Provoke from our Torment, hopefully because he is fastest. We buff up with our Achak the Windarn, and then we have the AoE Decrease Defense and Weaken, right? So now they're controlled, but um, let's see if we get some HP Burn or some Freeze on these different champions from our Achak the Windarn when it comes back around. Alright, so I think it's about to go. Okay, that's a counterattack. Torment goes, we have a Freeze right there. Arbiter goes, and here we go with Frostfire Gale. We got Freeze. We didn't get it on the Arbiter, unfortunately, but it's been a Freeze again, even with a uh, decreased defense here. So, like, if you're trying to use the combo of Achok, the Windoran, and Torment in the arena, chances are it's not always going to work correctly. And so, yeah, it would be great if you have a Freeze on all those champions, and then you have an HP burn on all those champions, chances are your Torment is going to proc with his A1 and keep using it. So you're eff effectively, sorry, going to lock down the enemy team. Great, but like, again, very conditional, like the chances of this happening, I wouldn't exactly say to count on this as sort of like an ultimate combo, right? We could also try to use uh, Pixniel here, maybe instead of Tormin. She has a technically better AoE freeze. I'll get around to testing that once I build Pixniel. But I would I would say that by default, um, Achok the Windarn is good with the right setup. Still a game changer, I think, on any account. So uh, let's do one more quick run here to see if we can get some HP burns instead. Uh, relatively tough team or whatever. Maybe something that's going to last a little bit longer. This here has a Valkyrie. Probably would run into a couple of issues. Let's try this here. And uh, let's see what we get. So let's put this on auto once again. And instead, what we're going to do, we're going to AoE Provoke. And here, I'm going to control this Achok the Windorn. 
And let's try this first without AoE decrease defense and weaken. So we have HP burn, HP burn, freeze and freeze. So again, you can kind of see because they have different stats, whichever is highest attack or defense, then you get a different result. And that is going to vary against every team. You're never going to know exactly what they have. It's still kind of nice. And now we want to see if our Tormund here is going to proc off of the, let's say, HP burn plus freeze. We do... Um, that wasn't that was his turn unfortunately let's see here again once one of these champions takes a turn i think they're right there boom we get a proc from our torment boom we get it again so like interesting might work so if you want to guarantee that you go for your hp burn first from h to windar and you would have to make your lydia faster but don't forget if she buffs up with her strength and debuff uh buff sorry that's because she's applying decreased defense which will impact their total stats so again just very hard to, to use i know i've said it many times in the video guys but like i've been trying to get this to work to be like sort of like a perfect combo so far not exactly there but i want to know what you guys think in the comments below what do you think of my Achok the Windarn built as is? The high resistance was obviously for the hard doom tower. The high accuracy it is a well uh, is a, for that as well. Sorry, but I just don't have enough for the frost spider yet to have this champion be sort of like a dedicated HP burn champion. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.